on divorce court today. Their brief affair resulted in a daughter he knew nothing about until two years after he moved away. Separated by time and geography, a chance meeting brought Sharika and Brees back together. But now love and money are tearing them apart. Sharika Honey and Brees Younger have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in divorce court starts now. Ms. Honey, you say that um, you and Mr. Younger had a very unique beginning to your relationship. Why don't you tell me about that? Um, well, Your Honor, I met Mr. Younger um, ten and a half years ago. Um, his aunt lived on the same street as I did in Jersey. Um, I was going to the store, and I knew his cousin and not him. So I was talking to his cousin, and that's when he interrupted, and we introduced each other. And um, he said he was originally from Virginia and that he was down here for a little while on vacation. So um, we started talking to each other. Um, one thing led to another. We kind of had a one-night stand. Um, next thing you know, um, when I spoke to Mr. Younger, Mr. Younger said he was on his way back to Virginia, and I hadn't seen him after that. So um, maybe two and a half years later, um, I had my daughter, and I moved to Virginia for my mother. And when I moved to... Your daughter with him? Yes. So you got pregnant after the one yes, night. You got to say that part. Yeah. Or else, <laughs> or else the story is really confusing. Well, so, so you had a one night yes, stand. Yes, I had a one night stand. You I got, got pregnant. I found out I was pregnant maybe, I was four months pregnant with her because I hadn't, I wasn't showing any signs mm -hmm. of being pregnant. So um, how he I He didn't found know? It, no. And you didn't know where to contact? No. We had, after that, we had no communication right. after he had left. So at the time, I tried to, like, talk to his cousin to see if there was a way that I could contact him, but there was no way. So maybe two and a half years later, my mother, I got sick. And I was helping my mother. And after that, I, I got my own apartment. I wound up making a life in Virginia. So I had moved into an apartment complex and... One day, my neighbor, me and my neighbors were at my neighbor's house. And they, we were all sitting there laughing, talking, giggling, joking. And them two, their joke turned into a fight. So them two got the argument back and forth and all of this crazy stuff. So maybe 15, 20 minutes later, there was a knock at the door. And it turned out to be the defendant, Mr. Younger. Wow. And it was like... That's, the, that's how my face was <laughs> when he came through the door. Wow. So that's when I, um, at first I sat there, I didn't say anything to see if he would remember who Did I was. Did he recognize you? After he kept saying to his cousin, um, she looks familiar. I know her from somewhere. And I was like, yeah, you, you, you do too. And that's when he, I said, well, by the way, what is your name? And that's when he said his name. And I was like, you don't remember Sheridan? You, you don't remember Sheridan Street? And he was like, yeah, I, my aunt lives on Sheridan Street in New Jersey. And I was like... Yeah. Do you remember the girl that lived down the street from ya? And he was like, yeah. I was like, well, that was me. Because at the time, I had, like, gained a lot of weight from yeah. my daughter, my pregnancy with my daughter. So it was like, so then me and him... Let, we let, was, let me ask you this. I, just, I have to get to it. <laughs> How did you break the news to him about the baby? The way I did it was like, um, there's somebody that would like to speak to you. Oh, that was just cold. And... <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, well, there's somebody that would like to speak to you. And he's looking at me kind of funny. So we go, we go outside in the little hallway of the apartment complex. And I call my daughter. And my daughter walks up. And that's when I was like, um, he, as she's walking up, that's when he was like, uh, that little girl right there looks like my niece. And that's when I was like, well, she should, because that's your daughter. Your daughter. And he kind of, like, thought I was kind of joking. He was like, nah, I can't be. Nah, I can't be. So it was like when she came closer and he, she picked, he picked her up, he did everything but, like, literally turned her upside down to see if she had a sticker that had his name yeah, on the bottom. Wanted, but... so it. What was were you like... looking for, Mr. Younger? I mean, you know, I was looking for special features, you know, birthmarks, which she had, you know. She has. She, we have the same birthmark, you know, I have like a, a hole, you know, some people are born with, you know, like a type of hole right here on the top of their ear, you right, know, right, people right. ask, is it a piercing? No, it's a birthmark. Mm -hmm. She had the exact same birthmark, you know, she looked like me, she looked like my niece, yeah. you know, so I was just looking to make sure, you know, I'm like, hold on, 
Yeah. You know? So did you believe it right away? I mean, after you got, I mean, it's a shock. I mean, no doubt yeah, about yeah. it. When you looked yeah. at it, did it, it did, it, did it, after a while you say, yeah, that's, that's her. Did you really not believe it? I mean, you know, at first, you know, you can't really just go off believing things like that. You know? Sure. So, so, you know, we actually went through the, you know, the progress and everything of having, you know, fraternity tests and everything like that. And, and she was mine, uh -huh. Your Honor. So, um, she you know, I, like I said, hey, you know, I got a daughter. It's time to step up, you know, and take responsibility. You know, so, so that's what I did. So, so in, the, in between the time that you had the DNA and you, how long was it between the time you had the DNA and you moved in together? Uh, I say we took the DNA, like, after we moved in together, because, like, right after that, you know, we, we started kicking it, you know. So how long were you kicking it before you decided to move in with her? About took a month. A month? Yeah, about a month. Y'all don't believe in wait on, says, waiting on nothing, do you? Everything is, I want it now, I want it now, a month. Actually, actually, the only reason why I allowed it was for him to have a close relationship with his daughter. In the beginning, it wasn't about me and him. It was about having a relationship with his child because I have other children mm. and they don't have that father daughter bonds as Mr. Younger and my, my, my youngest daughter. Well, had. Why was he? Why were you willing to move in with her? Well, at the time, you know, I, I was just, you know, graduating high school. I really didn't I, I didn't have another place where I stayed except for at my parents house. You know, and I was like, hey, you know, if you want me to move in, you know, to be around my daughter, I'm okay with that. You know, it's fine with me. I'll move in. If it works out, you know, we'll stay together and, you know, cohabitate. Have you ever lived on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Own apartment that some woman wasn't paying for? Yeah. Uh, we, went, we went through, you know, a time where we had actually broke up. Uh-huh. And, you know, I got my own place and, you know, it was a good amount of time. Um, that I actually stay, you know, by myself, you know, I pay my own rent. Nobody was paying that, you know. He may have been paying his rent, but he was still coming to me for help for everything else. Cooking. Were you? Can you, can I you, can you? say everything can else. You, she did you, things that she wanted to do. Food? Can you, you know, know, she wanted to cook for me. She wanted me to <laughs> come over. To she wanted me to you. stay in contact. So that's what I did. When someone says, they did what they wanted to because that's what they wanted to do. Yeah. You know that they're doing it because they want you. Yeah. And you take advantage of that. No, I actually didn't take advantage of it, you know, but I accepted it, you know. You're taking advantage of it. You know how they feel. You know that they yeah, want you. Yeah, I knew you. how she felt. And you, ex you, felt. you don't accept gifts from people who want more from you than you're willing to give. You don't do it. It, it yeah. lacks dignity. It lacks class. It, yeah. It lacks basic humanity. Next, how many times has Jerika taken Brees back after he has left for another woman? Your mama warned you not to marry your mate. If she was right and divorce is your best option, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court, real relationships, raw emotion. Testimony continues now. How long did you two live together? We lived together um, a year before we broke up the first time. The well, first he time. broke up with me the well, first time. Well, my understanding is you guys break up on the regular. Oh, yeah. We break up during his special days. What, the what are his special days? Springtime, summertime. Um... And then we get right, we get back together maybe right after Christmas, right? Just like just in time enough for his birthday, which is Jan in January. <laughs> and then that's when, let's be frank, it starts off as I'll call and my daughter will say, Mom, she hadn't, she hadn't seen him for a while. My daughter will say, Mom, can you call my dad for me? So I'll call him and be like, well, your daughter will like, your daughter wants to see you. And he'll be like, okay, um, I'll come see her. Then it, or then once we get together, he'll spend time with his daughter and everything. And then the next thing you know, that's when he'll say, okay, well, let's start off as friends and see where the friendship goes and see if we can go back to building a relationship. Mm -hmm. Me, like I said, yeah, I was a fool because I cared about him. Yeah, okay. Yep. Mr. Young, what is your version of how the rotating relationship well, goes? Well, you, you know, my version of it is, you know, pretty much it was a lot of things that, that I couldn't actually take, you know? She felt like she wanted to control me, 
she didn't want to, you know, let me be an adult, I guess, because she think that she had like a few years. Well, she does. Well, yeah, yeah, she is 12 years We're 12 older years than him. Yes, yeah. we are. Uh -huh. so, so, I mean... So, what kind of things did you feel she was trying to control? Well, I mean, you know, she didn't really take, you know, me seriously. You know, things, certain things that I would bring to the table, you know, ideas, you know, great ideas. That like I, what? Give me, give me, give me one. <laughs> hey, I said, you know, maybe we should go into business. You know, she, she is a great cook. Me, I'm a great cook and also a businessman. So... I mean, hey, let's start up our own business. She never took it seriously. She would say, yeah, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm fine with it. But then when it came down to it, she never really wanted to do it. You know, mm -hmm. she wasn't reliable. It was just I was looking for someone who was more ambitious. So you would leave her, her because she wasn't sufficiently ambitious? No, no, that wasn't the reason. You know, it was a lot of other things. She has anger issues also. Let's talk about the anger issues. Okay, you know, she has a lot of anger issues. I mean, for instance... You know, I, I would go out sometimes. And, you know, I'm an adult. You know, I'm allowed to go out. And if I just so happen, we're not married, we're cohabitating. But, I mean, sometimes I would, you know, end up coming in a little late because I, I did a little drinking. You know, one time I went to a buddy's house. He had just came back from the military. It's probably around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And, you know, I come back home. And when I get back in the house, <laughs> I turn on the lights. I'm like, whoa, she's sitting there like Medea. In her rocking chair, waiting. Just waiting on Just waiting. Just she didn't waiting. have any grits on her, did she? Just waiting. No, no she didn't have no grits. Okay. I, I'm glad, you know. I would you know, like to have, That day, I would I'm like to I'm glad she didn't have no grits, Your Honor. You know, but, um, you know, she's sitting there, and it's almost like, you know, she was waiting to start an argument over something that simple instead of coming to me and asking me. Hey, what... how come you stayed out so late? Yeah. There wasn't nothing simple she about never, She never asked. When divorce court continues, was Bree so desperate for money that he dated other women because they bought him things? Even though Sharika agrees that Brees tries to be a good father, do you think he can be a good role model for their daughter? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Here's the part I want to get to. Both of you say that the other one has cheated on them. Yeah. Correct? Now, why don't you tell me about the occasions or occasion, I don't know, okay. that she cheated. Well, there was a time, you know, where we actually were staying over at my, one of my cousin's house. In the evening time, uh, me and her were sitting in the room, you know, talking, watching a movie. A guy that I know, he walks into the room. Like, he actually had been there, because, see, I had left. Mm -hmm. So he walks into the room, and he's like, oh, snap. So he pulls me to the side, and he like, yeah, you know, me and Sharika, you know, we had sex the other day. Yeah. He so, didn't pull, so, he didn't pull him to a so, side. so I'm like, oh, really? Hang on. Did you get busted like that? No. For three, me and him had an argument. He left for three and a half days. He came back the, the, on the fourth day. To me, it was a setup. We were at the store. Him and the, him and the guy kept, were talking to each other. And then the next thing you know, we come out the store together. And the boy walks up to him and says, is that your girlfriend? He goes, yeah. So I said, who is he? He tries to play, oh, I don't know who he is. So I, I never paid it no mind. So later on that day, we, we were at his cousin's house. We had watched the movie. Yes, we did. We fell asleep. The next thing you know, it was like awful funny. He went out the room, because I can feel him when he climbed over me. He went out the room, quote unquote. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Climbed over you. Yeah, because the way we were in the bed, he was on he was up against the wall. Who was in the bed? He was. Brees, Mr. Younger was. He was in the bed, up against the wall, so he uh -huh. climbed over me and got out the bed. So I never paid it no mind. I just turned over. The next thing you know, Mr. Younger comes and gets back in the bed, and then three seconds later, somebody's banging on the knocking on the bedroom door. So I get up. I opens up the bedroom door, and the next thing you know, it's the same guy that asked him if we were together. Uh huh. Was like, oh yeah, you know, I messed with her. This, this, that, and the third. So they both standing. He's standing there laughing, just like it's just. But like had you funny ever messed me. with this guy? No, I didn't. I later found out Mr. Younger planned it so that he can go to Florida to be with the girl. 
that he ended up in Florida with, showing all of his pictures on the social media. Oh, this is my wife. How was that your wife after a week of being in Florida? You say, well, since we're into it, you say that he's cheated on at least eight women. That I know of, yes. On you with at least eight women. Do, do that you, I know of. Do you co-sign on any of that? Your Honor, I'm not an angel. You know, I'm so just a man. So the answer is yes. I, I mm -hmm. have, but I have. You don't think it was eight? No, it's, it's it wasn't eight. eight. It wasn't been, eight. It's more it than eight. eight. It wasn't eight, Your Eight is only one eight. that I know, that I knew of when, 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 when we got sick, after we broke up. I later found out it was more than eight women. Mr. Mr. Younger was like 13 or 14 different women during the time that we were together. It's let the, let, let it's me ask you truth. this one question. We go, we, we, we're going to keep it moving. Your contention is that this man not only cheats on you, but he... He makes an effort to secure money and or property from, from the, women the women with whom yes, he that's cheats. A, that's, that's How do you... Well, first of all, do you co-sign on that? Uh, no. You had to think about that. I don't co-sign on it because it's not exact. I mean, the way she's well, telling exactly it... Well, exactly what... How, how does it work? I mean, these women, you know, it's a couple women that I admit, you know, that I had affairs with, you know, and... It's not that I'm making sure, you know, that they have a place or money or nothing like that. They just so happen to have that when I meet them. And they give it to you. And, and they, they give, give it you to stuff. Me. And they give it to me. It's like, holy cow. And yeah. how can you take it? Judge Lynn Dollar's ruling next. Divorce court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Mr. Young, women who, who take money from, you know, like have a young chick and this old dude, she's giving her money, she's a gold digger, it's just kind of tacky and wrong. How is that any different from what you're doing? You got, you got 20 seconds. All right. I mean, it, it's nothing different. And I mean, you know, she met me when I was about, when I was, I say I was about 19, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. I did things, you know, which I admitted to, but she feels like she has to hold the past against me. So mm -hmm. I felt, hey, and I understand youthful uh, yeah. ignorance and idiocy because yeah. I was now. Yeah. I, I, I was young once too. Yeah, I was nineteen, twenty. You just don't get to skip to fifty six. You got to go through all of exactly. those. Exactly. Yeah. And I never did anything like that. Well, I, I never took anything that didn't belong to me. I never misused anybody's emotions or feelings. I never, I never cheated on anybody. I never did that. And I don't think youthful indiscretion uh, uh, makes up for or, or is a substitute for for moral degradation. Do you see what I'm saying? I understand. What Everybody's you're saying. young. I did stupid things, but but I had there were there was there was a rule of law, there was a bar, there was there were certain things I couldn't do and yeah. I don't think that I was young and I was dumb gets it. I, I mean I, I wasn't I, just a gigolo. And that's what he wanted you know? to be. And, that, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. You people are making me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You want $888 from Mr. Younger. Why don't you tell me why? For him to take my daughter, for my daughter to do ballet lessons. Okay. Now, after seven years, he's left the home, correct? Yes, ma'am. Does he pay child support? No, ma'am. He takes care of his daughter as far as if she needs clothes, he buys them. It's the quality time that he, they lack when do you see we're her? not in yeah, a relationship. Yeah, I see her. I spend time with her when I can, you know, when I'm not working. One time she said my daughter... You don't wanted... sleep with him anymore, do you? No, ma'am. One time she told me that my daughter wanted to see me, right? I break my neck to get over, you know, to see her. My daughter just, out of the blue, just starts crying, like, eh, I'm like, what's wrong with you? I thought you wanted to see me. She was like, I want to go swimming, this, then, the third. I'm like, oh, I thought you wanted to spend time with me. I said, no, nah, you're going to come with me today, because I wanted to ask her every, if everything was true. And I talked to her and I asked her, was what her mother was saying was true, and she said no. Oh, None don't of these do things that. Are true. She won't agree. She won't don't agree. do that. She won't agree with anything Stop that you say. Stop it. Don't do that. Don't bring your kids and inquire of your kids what your mother's saying is true and not true. They shouldn't hear about it. They shouldn't know about it. I don't care what she said or did. You don't grill. Really. You come over, you see them, you bring them something, you play around, you dance in the living room, you kiss them, you buy them ice cream, and then you act right. You don't ask them stuff like that. You're right. Why do you want... You, you want to give her $888 for some ballet lessons? I don't mind her going to ballet lessons, you know, if that's what she wants to do. $888 in favor of Mrs. Hill. You need to get a clue. Reese agrees with the judge that he needs to change his behavior and become a better role model for his child. 
Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.